What's up guys, it's Colin Coates from Built to Wander. This time I'm in the East Coast. I'm just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, picking up that thing right there, which is a 2005 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited LJ from Eric Miller and his co-driver Rob Ruggiero. Rob picked me and my buddy Derek up out at the Pittsburgh airport. We flew in last night to come pick this bad boy up, get it back to Colorado. We're getting ready to load it up on the trailer now. And I'm um, so stoked to fill you guys in on this project and uh, the next Jeep in the Built to Wander family. The LJ is up on the trailer. Rob is nice enough to help us get it over to Cincinnati, Ohio, where my parents live. So we're gonna trailer it there today, spend the weekend cleaning it up a little bit, and then drive to Colorado here at the end of the weekend. So super stoked to pick this thing up. Can't thank Rob and Eric enough. All right, so we're, we're rolling down the road. The LJ is on the trailer. So Rob, tell me a little bit about this uh, Wrangler Unlimited LJ that you and Eric built together. And, kind of the, you know, the history of the build, why you wanted to build it, all that stuff. So uh, back in 2012, we attended the ultimate adventure down in uh, like Georgia, Florida, the Carolinas, uh, right in that area. And uh, we actually did that in a 98 Grand Cherokee that uh, Eric had, um, like one of his original vehicles when he turned 16. Uh, that was converted into a 4600 uh, stock mod for uh, Ultra 4. And at the time when we went um, to do this ultimate adventure, that was like kind of the only vehicle that we had that was able to, you know, carry us and all the gear that we needed to for a week. So we went on that and um, it was a great experience, but we learned a lot. Uh, like that Grand Cherokee didn't have windows, it didn't have uh, windshield, barely had heat. Like, beat, beat you guys up. Yeah, it was brutal, but it, it was a great time. So anyway, while we were on the, the Ultimate Adventure, we were looking at ideas and, uh, you know, what we could build that would be a better, like, weekend wheeler, you know, go out, do a thousand mile road trip, you know, everything we enjoyed doing. Uh, so. We narrowed it down to this uh, 05 LJ because it was the perfect platform, you know, what we were looking for. And uh, got looking on, you know, some auction websites because we knew we were going to want to build it, not just leave it, you know, a normal LJ with the four liter. Right. Uh, so we found one down in Tennessee off Copart, uh, purchased it, got it, brought it back uh, to the shop and knew that we were going to do the LS conversion, knew we were going to do some sort of bigger axles and uh, went, stripped the motor out of it, you know, fixed just like the grill was damaged and the um, radiator. So it, it ran, everything was 100% working, you know, when we bought it, but just knew that that wasn't where we wanted to go with it. So right. took it all apart and, you know, found the L92, uh, got the 6L80 trans, you know, the Atlas uh, case and, you know, went to town on all that, getting that all matted up and then, you know, built the uh, spider tracks axles for it. And, you know, everything that you would see on, on one of the 4,400 cars was put into, into that Jeep because, you know, that's all the tested proven parts that we, you know, rely on. So you could take it, you know, just wheeling it or you could go, you know, hardcore wheeling, you know, out to the hammers, Moab, 
you know, yeah. it's been all over the place. So it's it was kind of interesting. You said that you know about like the forty four, like some of the parts that you would find on you know Eric's forty four hundred car because that's when I met Eric Miller out at uh, at King Hammers this year, uh, just a couple months ago, and you know I was telling him about the LJ that we were built we were building at the time for my dad. We ju- we just finished it, and you know I actually told him like I, I ran across your guys LJ on driving lines uh, website on their you know digital magazine and I read through that and it kind of inspired me a little bit with the build we were doing for my dad and so uh, I kind of was t- I was telling him about that and I even said I'm starting to get jealous of my dad's as we were kind of piecing the build together and yeah I've always had a you know some affection for the LJ I've always loved the platform I know it's a rare breed and he's like well you know I'm actually thinking about selling ours so now now i'm riding the truck with rob who's eric's co-driver out at king of the hammers and uh the lj is on a trailer and we're we're taking it back to colorado so not sure we need another jeep but i think it's going to be a blast at the end of the day you know i'm i'm sad to see it go but i'm glad it's going to someone that's going to use it you know to its full potential and you know enjoy it like we did for the last seven or eight years so yeah, and I mean, like I told you, you know, our plan is to make a couple of small refinements, but ultimately, you know, the the platform is there. The fact that it's got the 6.2 LS3, like 6L80 trans, the, you know, the Atlas transfer case, all that stuff is pretty amazing. I think it definitely makes this build stand out from the rest. And I know we're going to have a ton of fun in it. And uh, so, so, yeah. Anyways, thanks for the history, Rob. I appreciate yeah. it. Not built a, a badass jeep we're, we're pumped to have it part of the built to wander family now all right we made it here safely to ohio rob thank you so much man for for everything with the jeep for helping us get it here i appreciate it i'm definitely stoked to put this thing through its paces and yeah not a we'll, problem we'll make you proud of what we do to it hopefully we will i'm glad to see it go in good hands so yeah man thanks so much i appreciate thank you. it all right so i woke up this morning went out to the driveway and sure enough there was an LJ there. I wasn't dreaming. We bought this thing yesterday from Rob and Eric. It's filthy. My buddy Derek and I are going to go get it cleaned up. Derek made the trip with me from Colorado. He's going to help me get this thing back to Colorado safely. So we're going to clean it up and then walk through the existing build and probably some of the things that we'd like to change uh, on it ourselves to get it built to wander. So pretty stoked to uh, have this thing. It is a beast. And um, yeah, we have a fun day in store. So we're going to get after it. So we just got this thing cleaned up. We're back at my parents' property here in Ohio. It's literally a beautiful day. So perfect time to kind of do a quick walk around, show you guys what's already involved in the build, maybe allude to some of the changes that we may make at Built to Wander over time. Uh, I think overall, Eric and Rob obviously know what they're doing when it comes to, to Jeep things, and they did a killer job on this build. The, the foundation of the build is so stout. And so follow me, I wanna walk you through it and uh, show you guys what we're up to. So first and foremost, probably the biggest you know pieces of this build, which makes it extremely special and stand out from the rest is the motor swap. So this thing has a 6.2 liter LS3. It's mated to a 6L80E transmission. So it's a six speed, 420 horsepower, 440 foot pounds of torque. It's been dyno tuned, it runs strong. Honestly, it's kind of scary how much power that thing puts out. Uh, it's got a fiberglass hood, nice and lightweight. Up front, we got um, aluminum fenders from Poison Spider. They're the high lines to make room for these 40 inch NATO tire trail grapplers. 
you got a poison spider front bumper, worn winch. So, you know, pretty dial recovery. We may throw some factor 55, maybe swap in their, their fair lead and ultra hook. Underneath, this thing has a massive spider tracks front axle housing. And it's also got a true high nine gear case. So PSC hydraulic assist steering with their big bore box protected by a poison spider skid plate. That axle housing is massive and uh, will provide plenty of strength for those 40 inch netto tires. And being a fabricated housing, it's quite a bit uh, lighter weight than uh, your traditional Dana 60 or cast center section. So it also has a three link long arm in the front from rock crawler suspension. Moving on to the side, got some steel rock rails from Poison Spider. This thing has a Poison Spider armor wrap on, you know, all the way around. It's got the aluminum corners and fenders. These high lines, they look great. It's got anorock sway bars front and rear. The Poison Spider drop down tailgate, Poison Spider rear bumper. And then it also has the savvy aluminum gas tank skid, which is really nice to protect the gas tank. Again, another massive Spider Tracks axle housing in the rear. That's a low pinion, strong as hell. It's got an Airby air locker in it. Uh, should be, you know, all that we need on the trail. Yeah, I mean, this thing, it's fully built already. You know, there's really not a lot that we have to do. We may swap out these Fox shocks, throw some Bilstein coilovers in it. Might play with the sway bars just to get a, a little stiffer uh, rate in there in the rear. And then um, we'll probably swap out the methods for a set of KMC wheels. But I mean, overall, this thing is dialed. I mean. Inside, it's, it's relatively stock, but it does have a Synergy manufacturing cage, so you've got safety covered. The only thing we're missing inside is Onyx Off-Road, which, you know, we, we rock that in all of our rigs. It's crucial for us to have navigation on the trail, so we'll definitely get Onyx Off-Road inside of this thing on a tablet or even our cell phone with a nice mount uh, probably off the cage or something. So otherwise, I mean, this build's ready to go. It's, it's so killer. It's got so much power. I'm stoked about it. And uh, I think now we gotta get it back to Colorado, find a trail we can hit so we can kind of share some impressions off road before we start tearing into it. But definitely stoked to have an LJ, a part of my family of Jeeps and really appreciative of, of Rob and Eric Miller for making it happen. All right, so we got the LJ back to Colorado and Rev Kit and Best Top were uh, kind enough to invite us to hit the trail today, which I could not pass up because we haven't had the LJ in the dirt yet or on the rocks. So we're in beautiful Buena Vista, Colorado, and we're stoked to go do some wheeling today. I've got Onyx Off-Road loaded up for Chinaman Gulch. That's the trail we're running today out here in Buena Vista. Uh, probably gonna use the app to do some tracking, see how long the trail takes. I haven't run this trail in a couple years. Honestly, don't remember how long it is. So that should be super helpful. Um, and you know, we can't hit the trail without Onyx Off-Road. So definitely pumped to give that a try today. And um, and find our way down the trail and use it to help us navigate all the fun we're about to have for the day. Amazing. Holy cow, epic day. 
with rev kit best top in our new lj uh rev kit had their jl and their lj the party wagon out here best top had a four-door jl on 37 inch nitto ridge grapplers that thing did work on chinaman's gulch i was actually really impressed with how well that rig worked and uh we just had a blast today so overall first impressions as it sits it did great on the trail today so it's definitely super capable and uh, i'm excited for uh what's to come with it guys thank you so much for following along and being such a big part of our adventures here at built to wander i'm so stoked on this new lj from eric miller and his co-driver rob ruggiero and can't thank them enough for making it happen drop us a note below let us know what you think of it and be sure and check out the description below this video for the original build feature on driving line and all of the specs over at revkit.com as always hit the like button if you did and subscribe if you haven't until next time wander on